and you talk about your audition process for Maria Hill mm -hmm. and did you did you go through full hair and makeup and costume for the screen test? Yeah, I did. So I I did a um, pretty regular audition first, which I don't even think Joss was in the room for it. I think it was just um, with the casting director. And um, did you know what I was, it was for? No, I was about to say when I was doing it, I had no idea. Uh, it's, I think it was like female agent and, and my husband, who's like a crazy Marvel fan, was like, it's the Wasp. It's for the Wasp. It's just gotta be the Wasp. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me just Google who that is. <laughs> let yes, me just get them on the computer real yeah. quick. <laughs> um, so, uh, so I auditioned and, and, and then, and then I was, uh, my husband was living and in, in working in New York at the time. So I went to New York to like be with him for, for a period of time. And then they wanted me to come in and audition for Joss again. And I was like in New York City. I was like, I cannot be there tomorrow. But luckily, because I have a relationship with Joss, um, he was like, okay, she's fine. Let's pass her up to the screen test, which was super weird um, and really intense. Like, if you're an actor, I feel like any job you actually want to get, you'd never get if you're auditioning yeah. for it because yeah. it's just like, <laughs> so you're such a wiener. Like you just like, <laughs> you're so desperate and you're yeah. just like, you, you just smell, Please. you just smell yeah. you're like just radiating desperation and need Tightening. and like a desire yeah. to be liked. Yeah. So, um, it was, it was what it was, but it, but the setup of it was like five brunettes um and like one blonde and i recognize like one of them just from i think we worked together on something maybe she i think she did a guest star on how your mother or something and we all dressed the same which oh, was no. like you know a glorified yoga outfit like we didn't get like you know the, the marvel treatment um and then we went through hair and makeup. Wait, did they then, dress you? Did they put you in outfits? They did. They kind of put wow. us in like, you know, a black top and then like black yeah. pants. Oh my god! And gosh. then I think we might have gotten some kind of, you know, weaponry thing. And then, um, and then you had to be like cloaked. So that was always what happened in the early days of Marvel is you would be like, cloaked anytime you went outside because there would always be people would be getting their pictures taken all the time and it was like back in the day of like what is the suit gonna like what is captain america's suit gonna like who cares what marie hill's wearing but it was like they oh, were I just do. totally on the down low about everything so i walked even for the audition yes yeah that's so cool yeah, yeah. Cool. And it's great to audition for Joss because he wrote the scene. Like, I don't right. really, rem I don't remember the scene that well, but I knew it wasn't in the movie. So right. he like, wrote a proper scene that had like juicy stuff to do, not like, you know, spelling out what was, what explosion was coming up that Marie Hell always, like her, her job is usually like, hello audience. This yeah. is what's <laughs> happened. This is what everybody's <laughs> after. That's what we're trying to do. Bye. <laughs> um, so it wasn't just all of the jargon. It was sort of like, it was it was a meteor emotional arc and stuff. And I got there and like, you meet Sam Jackson and you just like throw up. Oh my <laughs> like, God. Hello, sir. Like, I'm like, <laughs> hello, Sam Jackson. Just like, I don't even know what I'm, like, I think I just like kind of did one of those glazes that I learned very well in my childhood. Like, that's going up. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember any of this. Um, and uh, did the scene and I kind of left it going. And Joss was very nice. Joss was around and he was, he, I did it a couple times. I think I can't, honestly, I can't even remember. And I was like, you know what? I did fine. I didn't get it. I did fine. I didn't embarrass myself or Joss because I think that was my yeah. focus. I was like, Joss kind of vouched for me in this situation. Mm. So I felt very like nervous that I was going to come in and bomb. Sure. And then he was so, going to regret. Yeah. Had the material evolved from your initial read to then what you were screen testing? So this was the no, first No, I, I think it was the same scene. I think. I honestly, I don't know. But it was like a decent, like it was like a three-page scene. Like it was a decent scene. 
Um, and you'd only done it one time before, because usually by the time you get to a screen, you've done it a few different times for different people, and right, you kind of got yeah. it out of your system. But then this is, yeah. I mean, full hair and make. Obviously, you've done a bunch of work and, what, and before the cloak, you're auditioning, like so... but the cloak yeah. is killing cloak. me. Yes. Yeah, I'd and then it was also on. like you're you're in this small room, and like every woman is like at their own you know, Ugh, station yeah. is kind of like, hey, well, good luck. You know, and everyone's yeah. obviously very supportive, but it's just like a weird. It's, a, it's weird, isn't so it? Weird. Yeah. It's a weird Especially when you see versions of you there, you just go, yes. okay, well, yes. this is just a we'll kind see. of crap we'll shoot see. now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I thought I did fine. And then I, you know, I called, I called my husband who was like waiting by the phone. <laughs> oh. How'd it go? Did you get it? Who'd you see? What happened? <laughs> what would they wear? Tell me everything. Um, yes. um, and you know, I was like, I said just kind of what I just said to you guys, like it was fine, it was fine, it was fine. And then I got home and I remember like, like opening the be a beer and it was like the best, like the beer, like a delicious beer because it was so oh. cold. And I was like, oh, forget it, we're done, it's done. And then Joss called me, like literally, I had maybe been there, I'd been gone for an hour or something, and uh, and he called me and he was like, I think he said something funny, like, uh, yes, hello, is this Maria Hill? And I was like. <laughs> I'm sorry, who is this? 